the last part that I would like to show you today is the, the project that I'm currently working. Um, it is an editor, and sorry, uh, Dat and Hobel about that, but um, it is not the old uh, school uh, editor, it is quite new, quite modern. Um, that's uh, Light Excel. I showed you about that uh, on the previous stream, the previous version that I was working. And actually, uh, a few days ago, I released the last uh, version about the this uh, editor. But now I'm working on the uh, last uh, code that is available for this editor. This editor is developed by uh, a group of people, of developers, for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And I'm working on porting that to Amiga. Um, this is version 2.0.4. Let me change uh, the color scheme. It has a lot of issues yet, especially on things like um, um, notification from the file system when a file changes and uh, to reload and things like that. Uh, but it uh, works quite well so far. Uh, uh, welcome Amica Gamer, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you everyone for being here. So I would like to show you the, the newest uh, things about this editor and uh, see if it is something that you would like to use. Um, I want to make it work quite well before I release something, but it is uh, there. One of the things that it has, for example, let me uh, open a couple of files. Uh, this ones, okay. Um, you can drag a, a tab to another place and open that like that and split the area like this. If you have a dark uh, color, it uh, shows exactly where it goes. So it is quite uh, fast to, to move them to other places. Uh, or even uh, say that I want this file to see it twice, side by side. Um, let me make it a little bit uh, full screen and uh, do something like uh, split, uh, right. So I have the same file at the other side here. If you want to have something at the top to look at and uh, write something at the bottom of the file, this is possible to be done. And also say that I have, I want to open this file as well at this side or at the bottom, or even say that uh, I want here to have a big lock so that I won't waste too much time. You can have it like that and continue working, uh, which is nice. One of the features that for me it's very crucial and if you are watching my streams, I'm sure you, you understood uh, so far is having big files uh, and have um, Actually, I don't like at all to have big files, but if I have a big file, I want this to be able to scroll quite fast. Uh, against the previous uh, version, the, the scrolling speed is much faster, and not because it is on a, an X5000 right now. I uh, tested that uh, application on my Micro Amiga one, and uh, it was actually quite fast. And I would like to remind you here that uh, we are talking about text that is uh, full idealized with a lot of um, a, a lot of plugins here to to show, for example, these lines here uh, are added by plugins to show the depth of the um, the tabs or to have different colors on the uh, curly brackets or the brackets so to understand where it opens and closes. Um, it's it's there. 
the other uh, quite useful that a few of you uh, requested on the previous version of uh, Light Excel is to have multiple um, cursors. So if you are sorry, if you are uh, here and you click shift and uh, the cursor down you select something but if you click uh, where is it no no sorry I ruined everything okay yeah if you click shift and control you create multiple um, cursors and you can write something on multiple places uh, if you don't want to do it, you also have the option to select something, and this is uh, all the similar uh, words are uh, marked. But if you click, click uh, Control and D, you create multiple uh, cursors on all these places. So you can find, for example, the name of a specific variable and you want to change something, uh, add an underscore uh, and say, sorry, uh, new uh, var name, underscore name, you can do it uh, like that, uh, which is quite, quite useful if you want to change things like that. Some people might prefer to go to uh, select and uh, replace everything. Okay, uh, that's also a good way to do it but if you wanted to go on every um, for example objects like that and say I want to go to the last uh, or go to something here and make a change this is not possible to do it um, there are situations that it's more useful to do it like that to have multiple cursors so this is uh, there and it is working quite well uh, Falcon Leather says uh, nice features, the marker are also nice uh, feature. yeah. There are a lot of things that it has uh, that uh, we miss from the uh, editors that we have in our um, in Amiga OS 4 and Amiga OS 3. Um, as I said the, the scroll speed is quite faster than the previous. There are a, a few problems uh, which I'm trying to, to uh, fix. Uh, I would like to remind you that this uh, editor is uh, based on uh, SDL and Lua. The Lua code that is included, let me uh, show you um, change project and let me go to the editor the Lua uh, code is plain text files okay so uh, someone who knows how to program in this language he can change the way that uh, the editor actually works thank you for being here Opi have a great weekend thank you so you can uh, experiment if you want how to uh, how some things are working on the uh, editor and change the way that uh, that way uh, from the Lua uh, scripts, and um, that's that's quite uh, quite fast. Um, this editor is still on development, of course, uh, and the good thing that is that it is developed for other operating systems, so it has a good. Uh, um, support and um, yeah I think that uh, when I saw the the difference on the speed and uh, that I was uh, able to use it on my micro Amica one quite well uh, I was surprised so yeah I wanted to, to share that with you and it has a lot of other features as well uh, which uh, I hope that soon I'm going to be able to uh, make a release and uh, see you uh, what you think about it. Uh, if uh, you have these um, 
uh, night mode of the editor you can open uh, different files for example here and then when you drag them as you can see it has a way to show you where exactly it's going to go like that and if you have this markdown there is also uh, the uh, plugin that you can do something like uh, preview that select the browser that you want uh, odyssey is preferred for these kind of things and then opens that in odyssey in a second and show you the preview of the um, this file let me reboot it uh, reload it okay and here you have the preview of the changes that you uh, are doing in the editor for example test here save review and you see here the, the uh, changes uh, Falcon 11 says I will try on Amiga PPC uh, classic yep it will be <laughs> it will be quite a, uh, a test I would like to see how it works there Falcon <laughs> I would like to see of course for uh, low-end machines and I'm not saying that the classic is a low end. <laughs> not at all. Uh, for low end machines, it is preferred to use the the rest of the editors that we have available. Uh, for example, the Cubic ID that I showed you earlier uh, the, on the previous uh, stream, or the Cygnus editor. Actually, I would like to show you. Uh, that's one thing that it makes sense to, to see. Let me open the init Lua here. And before we see that, to see a little bit the, the differences on scrolling speed, if you allow me. Let me refresh. OK. I will open the core Lua in it Lua here and I will open the same file on uh, cubic ID this is here a data core on Cygnus editor and cubic ID okay for the cubic ID it doesn't have color syntaxing because it doesn't understand the Lua but it doesn't matter for now so this uh, code is 1384 uh, lines okay uh, at the top here at the top you can see maybe I hope so let me go to the full computer to help you on that you can see the CPU uh, usage let me make it also here okay you will see that when we scroll up and down with um, Cygnus editor how much CPU usage we have on an X5000 Falcon Leather says low end but no in prices <laughs> yeah you're right uh, that's the Cygnus editor on scrolling this and you have seen that the uh, scrolling is not so smooth so it passes uh, blocks of the code uh, let's see the uh, the cubic ID cubic ID uh, uses less uh, CPU than the Cygnus editor okay 
and the code is uh, 1385 lines it's not that tremendously big and let's see the uh, the same file on here on light excel the difference on the cpu uh, usage is quite big right and that's logical because it is an sdl application it is not optimized for this uh, computer uh, actually uh, it reaches 100 percent all the time <laughs> and that's logically the good thing is that as you soon as soon as you stop it falls down to the two percent or five five percent and by my tests wh when you um, code you don't do all this stuff uh, back and forward all the time right uh, by my tests uh, it is it is not blocking other applications i like to uh, listen to online radio stations when i code uh, or uh, listen to podcasts so uh, i had uh, very big problems when i was using uh, code bands and try to um, scroll a little bit on my uh, on, on the code uh, because uh, the scroller uh, the the editor blocks a lot other um, processes for some reason uh, i never experienced that with this editor uh, so if you want to have an editor that um, works exactly the same way on other systems and you have to you want to have a mod mo more modern editor and if you have a good uh, computer like uh, better than the micro amiga one so any amiga one <laughs> computer so uh, i believe that you will not have issues to to use uh, light excel otherwise i recommend uh, cubic id first um, code bench second and third the uh, cygnus editor for me and uh, yep that's what i would like to show you today um, i hope that will i will be able to solve a few issues uh, with light excel uh, version 2 quite soon and make a, a new uh, release soon uh, for you to try that out and um, uh, have your own opinion on what is best for you and yeah be able to to code uh, awesome things for our uh, systems right